Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die. You guys missed all of day 26 because OBS decided that apparently my footage was definitely not good enough to in fact, you know, show what we were doing. So on day 26, we actually went out, did our tier 5 job, we did our tier 4 job, we did this, the Close Encounters gun range, and we finished tier 5, which is very, very nice, you know? Great, we have Trader Wreck to go and open, two kilometers away still, um, and I worked on the base a little bit, you know, kept myself busy here, and, um, oh, we also did um, this. Started breaking down the house next door because it keeps spawning more zombies and it annoys me, so... I've started actually just busting this place apart, which I will keep doing throughout the evenings and just, you know, when you guys aren't watching and not looking. And um, I'm not gonna bore you guys by just sitting here doing this all day, you know? It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Okay, so my inventory is full with books. Um, books that I collected throughout uh, day uh, 26 and which is nice I mean good books right good books um, so we do have oh I've been playing the wrong games two furious fists three shotgun weeklies two vehicle adventures knife guy wiring 101 armored up tactical warfare three big hitters magazines oh and this the vehicle reserve fuel tank mod which makes our motorcycle, which will make our motorcycle, take even more fuel than it really does. Um, which will necessitate, absolutely, that we go and get some fuel. Um, I do believe that we can actually make the fuel tank mod. Um, but, for now, what I am going to do is grab some of this money, make a quick trader run. Uh, go and see what trader Hugh has to sell for us. And then when we're there, we'll talk about what the like full plan for the day is. As you guys should be accustomed to by now, I got to the trader far too early and he was still closed. So I spent some time just messing around around the uh, area. Eh, kept myself busy really. Uh, awesome sauce, got those two rockbusters. Okay, rest isn't really that much, let's see. Drop Thank you. Your or drop your drawers. All right. Uh, sell him these Furious Fists magazines, this Big Hitters, the Knife Guy uh, mags. Uh, sell him those military armor parts for now. The shotgun parts I'm going to keep. I'm going to sell those and the 11 old cash to him. Um, it's about really all we're going to sell. Oh, and the Iron Fire Axe. Definitely going to sell that to him. Uh, let's quickly check what he has for sale. Just quick run through here. Tactic Warfares, nothing much there. I might spend two for 6,000 there on three more water filters. We'll get to that. I'll show you guys like what I have in mind. Um, and that's about it, that's really. All you're gonna buy. See I'll what he has. Tier six out. infested clears. All of these are tier 5 infested, uh, all very, very far away. The Red Mesa compound, Nevis Game General, Ooh, very, very bad. 2 bit tower, um, Pop and Pills Factory, infested clear at Fort Choppa, and Fetch and Clear at the Karen and Gashi residence. Okay. Tier 4, Ranger Station, Golf. Yeah, we'll do Coleman's Drive-In, it's fine. Just to clear a Tier 4 clear, we are preparing ourselves for Day 28, the Day 28 Horde, uh, which will be coming in hot and heavy very, very soon, so I'm kind of starting to prepare myself for that. Um, and I'd, I'd like to do more Tier 5s, uh, especially after um, the previous one went so very, very well. I'm just 
I'm not comfortable with the tier fives just yet. So let's quickly go and we just pop these water filters into our crafting materials box here. Let's do a little bit of that. Let's crafting material that can go there. Can I put the water filters and the money back there? And put these in mechanical. Uh, ores and minerals can get those. And yeah, I'm going to meet you guys over at that job. Let's quickly go run this. This will be quick and easy and fun. Alrighty. Coleman's is a big old tier four. We have the shotgun shells for this, so the way I see it, I'm just gonna run it with a shotgun. Because why not? Maybe I'll even do one of my fun edits for this. It should be should be nice. Alrighty, and that is our clear done. Now our end loot is in here. Let's have a quick look see what we get some magnum ammo some more bullet tips and gunpowder which i'm not gonna say no to not that i need them but hey we get it for free some murky water there working stiff tool crate has a get hammered magazine uh pop and pills uh crates has some steroids and a blood bag that are actually worth taking um, shotgun weekly, uh, spear parts, I'm not even gonna touch. Uh, and let me quickly break this open and then we'll see what's inside. All right, here we go. Trigger group burst mod, 14 lock picks, gold nuggets. Some more uh, shotgun shells. I won't say no to. Uh, we'll scrap those. Yeah, that's our tier four clear. Like these are actually really fun. Like when you, when it doesn't take you the whole day and when you don't, you know, accidentally nearly die to a random zom zom. They're actually pretty fun to do. So I'm gonna grab my motorcycle and then I will meet you guys back at Hughes. Okay, and back at Hughes. Hello, Hugh. Let's see. <laughs> Steel axe at level four. Steel club. Uh, let's take the crafting skill magazines. Uh, let's quickly see what they have. Uh, nothing. Just nothing. Sell that, sell those, sell those, sell those gold nuggets, and that, and that pistol, and that ammo, and the money. Dang. And just like that, my inventory is clear again. <laughs> Let's go and check. Maybe like he has um, Cracker Book as a tier 2. If he doesn't, we'll take a proper tier 5. And we might go run through that as we take our last preparations for the day 28 horde. Okay. No tier 2s. So let's see. 2 bit tower is over there. Over there we have the Pop and Pills factory. You know, 2 bit tower I've never done, so might as well. Let me grab the motorcycle, quickly hop home for a little bit more ammo and some medicine, and then we'll take on another tier 5, because, you know, why not? Alrighty, here we are. I had to literally drive past 2 bit tower, go to the house, and come back. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm gonna start the quest so this all pops back in. Um, then you see my frame rate drop a little bit. Um, I don't think, I don't know if you guys could see that. But we have bandages. I've got some painkillers for headaches. Got some vitamins. I have a plaster cast in case we need it. And got my first aid kit. I've got 170 rounds of shotgun shells and my steel spear so hopefully this goes well i'm gonna edit this the same way i did the um the previous one the uh um the nursing home because i kind of like that so let's let's run this i'll see you guys on the other side
Alrighty, that is one very big, very annoying tier 5. There's one zombie alive down somewhere. Let's quickly check what the loot holds. I did break my leg uh, by no fault of anyone else's. Um, unforced error I made falling down the building. So broke my leg like a dum-dum. Oh, there's another vehicle adventures book. Nice. Uh, Shamway box. Okay, we got some foodies. We'll just eat that immediately. Shotgun Messiah box over here has uh, shotgun parts. Okay, let's see if we can pick this lock. Yeah, first lock pick, no issues. Uh, security camera bundle. Wiring 101, shotgun weekly. Let's read these books. Two, one, two, three, one, one. Oh, and a shotgun choke mod schematic. Uh, 12 silver nuggets, some acid. I will take that. And the health kits. Military armor parts I might keep. We might just craft our own military armor a military armor at one point uh, Check planet will read and then uh, gotta go down and find that zoom zoom that is now still Alive and causing us to not be able to finish this job. So let me do that There we are Job done job clear uh I'm gonna take my broken leg and go home. <laughs> I'm hurting. I'm very much hurting. So let's make our way back home for the night. I'm just gonna spend my time at home in licking my wounds, so to speak. And then in the morning, we will return to the trader and hand in this job. Alrighty, we have made it to day 28. The day I'm actually nervous for, to be honest, because we are facing the day 28 horde. Let's hand in yesterday's tier 5. Take the crafting skill magazines. Let's see what he's got. Uh, big hitters, vehicle adventures. And the rest will sell. Yep. Just gonna take the sugar butts here. Uh, just because I know I want to sell this stuff to him, sell those silver nuggets, because it's worth it. I don't really need the money anymore, so why not? Um, split tip, shotgun shells. I can just buy just outright more shotgun shells. Uh, hmm, two shotgun weekly magazines. I'll buy both. Thanks. Um... And we can buy a 4x4 truck chassis if we want. We have enough money for it. Uh, I'll take those to uh, that home cooking weekly. Scrapping for fun we no longer need. Um, yep, that's well, about it. Let's quickly check his jobs. Something. We'll go to Jer the Jericho Ranch. It's just quick, man. Um, yeah, quick, quick one. And then we'll go back to base prep ourselves properly for the day 28 horde like i'm actually nervous about the day 28 horde i'm i'm honest i'm nervous about it um i know the base will work i've tested this base multiple times against hordes like these but it doesn't make it any less nerve-wracking to actually know okay we're gonna full-on face the day 28 horde um so yeah, a little bit nervous about that, I won't lie. Jericho Ranch shouldn't be too difficult. I'm gonna run this through with a shotgun. And uh, I'll meet you guys at the end loot. Alright. Infested cash. Has some nice shotgun shells, which I won't say no to. Uh, let's quickly open these two. Working stiff. Handy land mag. Nice. Uh, never mind. Uh, shotgun shells. Bit of gunpowder I'll take as well. 
And okay. Oh, leather trunk. Uh, ooh, has some hobo stew and a pipe bomb. Okay. I'll tell you guys something about this POI real quick while I make my way out and back home. The snakes in this POI oppose more of a challenge than anything else. There's a lot of snakes. So many snakes. Very annoying. Um, yeah, they, they really pose almost more of a problem than, than anything else in this POI does. All right, Hugh, what you got for me? Yeah, okay, crafting skill magazine. I'll take that every time. Uh, le let's read those. We vehicle adventures, handy land, one, two, three, four, five, six. Shotgun weekly magazines. Uh, I don't have much that I can sell back to him. Let's quickly check our skills. I have three skill points. I'm not going to use them right now. We will use them after Horde Night. Uh, repair tools, 45 out of 50. Shotguns are 99 out of 100. We can actually craft an auto shotgun at tier f at level four, which isn't a bad idea before Horde Night. Uh, armor is 36 out of 75. Electrician, we're getting up to batteries, okay. Vehicle, 79 out of 100. We can actually make a four by four. Very nice. Okay, so, you know, we're not doing too badly when it comes to skills. Not doing too badly. Uh, like, I might spend the time quickly going through Shotgun Messiahs or something. See if we can get that one last shotgun book we need. Because it's 99 out of 100. Um, let's quickly see if we can maybe get that lost book. And there it is. Shotgun Weekly. 100 out of 100. We can make a level 5 auto shotgun. So let's head home. And let's prep ourselves properly this time for day 28 horde night make ourselves a level 5 auto shotgun <laughs> finally all right i'll meet you guys back at the house all right so for that uh um auto shotgun we need five shotgun parts 150 forged steel 15 uh duct tape 200 um, scrap uh, polymer and 20 springs so forged steel right here we can do 75 and in this forge we'll do the other 75 that'll give us 150 over here I've been making boxes of AP shotgun slugs um, could swear I knew I didn't know. I promise I didn't know we were that close. But you could swear I did. Uh, that I'd already started doing what I like to do with that. So I'm going to take the time real quick. Uh, spend the time getting our materials together. And then when we have that ready, I'll get back to you guys. All right. There we go. We have all the ingredients for our auto shotgun. <laughs> seven minutes that it needs it is 2 p.m on day 28 and i'll tell you what my nerves are like my nerves are shaking i am shaking in my boots because i know the heart base is right over there and i still want to go place forged steel there which i didn't make and i might be underprepared for this now <laughs> okay so, as soon as the shotgun's done, I will meet up with you guys. Okay, here we go. There is our auto shotgun at level 5. So, I have one or two mods that we can actually put on this one. We're going to use the reflex sight and just the rad remover. That's going to make it a little bit better. And what we're going to do is I'm going to open up these two chests. That's 200 AP rounds of shotgun shells. And our pump action shotgun, we're going to change over 
to use the AP slugs. And then our auto shotgun is just gonna run the normal rounds. Can we perhaps make a drum mag? I can. I need 24 steel. I have. Because we've been making more forged steel, so we can upgrade the, the base, the horde base. Uh, 10 scrap polymers. Oh, where's my scrap polymer? Ah, there it is. Uh, four oil and four mechanical parts. And that goes in here. Okay, we can quickly make a drum mag. Good. That's gonna take five minutes. I don't know if it's gonna be done in time. Uh, I'm gonna take the forged steel that we have. I want it so much more. Uh, just to reinforce the base a little bit. So I am going to sit here as long as my uh, my nerves will let me probably until about 8 p.m. Uh, is, is about how long my, my nerves will allow me to sit here and wait. Grab as much of the forged steel as I can take and then run to the horde base or drive to the horde base quickly upgrade the horde base just a little bit before we face our day 28 horde um so let's let's see if we can get maybe the drum mag and a little bit more forge deal done all right it is 22 7. i have i need mean, like th one more it's 119 it's okay it's not gonna be what i wanted but it's better than nothing. 19 blocks of uh, forged steel that we can use uh, on our work base out here. Literally just making the drive out. Hopefully there's not too much damage that we need to contend with. All I'm really trying to do is kind of dissuade the zombies from actually attacking this part of the base. Okay, I can still go back real quick. There we go. That's fixed up. I can literally upgrade one block there. Let's just fix up these blocks, make sure everything is fine. Can you guys tell I'm a little bit nervous? Just a tad. Okay, my supports here, my padding are practically Perfect still. All right, that's about as far as we're gonna go with this. I'm gonna pick up the motorcycle, head up into the base, and then uh, we'll wait out the time until Horde Night starts. Alrighty, my friends, the time is upon us. Let's take our skull crushers. We're gonna take these two sets of fort bites and bring our water up here. Let's just drink some extra fluids. And here comes the horde.
Alrighty, as usual, it is nearly midnight here on our now day 28 Horde Night. And so far, like, genuinely everything is going well. Like, I can hear them banging on the building a little bit, which is why you'll see me go out every now and then and smack them with a grenade or two. But other than that, really, it's going well. So let's see how the last four hours of the night go. Okay, that was a horde night. Holy heck, <laughs> that was a lot of fun actually. Um, a lot busier, a lot busier than our last few hordes. Uh, hold on, let's just hold still, just in case the game decides to send us a horde, like a little bit of uh, zombies, like right at the four o'clock mark, because seven days that I hate me, so. <laughs> But it doesn't seem like that's going to happen tonight. Um, it was a good one. I did use my shotgun a lot. Uh, which I enjoyed. I enjoyed swapping to my shotgun and, and just smacking them around with a shotgun a bit. Um, but you can see like they, they did take on the building a lot more. They did attack our building a lot more. Which, I mean... It, it is what it is, you know. Um, the more I think about it, the more I know, the more it's like, maybe this can still work for the next Horde Night as well. So I'm just going to pick up all this loot, and then I will meet you guys back at base. Hmm. Okay, had a quick small roaming horde coming through. Okay, so how much forged iron can I make here still? 300... And I can make another 200 here. Okay. I'm going to make all the forged steel that I can from these. Um, we're going to use the concrete we have to upgrade the blocks. Or just repair the blocks. And then just upgrade the whole base to forged steel. And then for the day for, uh, 35 horde. I had to do math there. For the day 35 horde. What I'm going to do is I'm going to up the max spawns to double what it is now. So that's going to be 32 max spawns for the zombies. And we're just going to challenge ourselves for that final um, horde base or that horde that we face. So over the next few days, what we're going to do, we're going to do some tier fives, keep ourselves busy around the base. I might uh, show you guys these uh, treasure maps and stuff that we have. And... Um, Maybe try and get ourselves an auger. Um, that might be nice. So, 
day 29 you guys are gonna miss most likely i'm just gonna keep myself busy here and then we will see you guys back on day 30 that'll be fun thank you all so much for joining me on this episode thank you to each and every single one of you guys who make these videos possible i appreciate you guys appreciate all the love that you've given the series so far and i'll see you guys in the next one until then my friends have a good one everyone